Let us have some time to study God's Word together. Let us read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 1. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised. How would people treat him? It says, he was rejected by men. Doesn't it mean that he was not welcomed by people? Rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering, like one from whom men hide their faces. How did people treat him? He was despised. And we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. It was all because of our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. The fundamental reason God came down to this earth and wore the tent of flesh was due to our sins. It is true when looking at this matter from a spiritual point of view, we made God live in such a way because of our sin. Let us read Hebrews chapter 2, verse 7. You made him a little lower than the angels. Here, him, refers to Jesus, right? The Jews, the Pharisees, and the teachers of the law understood that God is higher than the angels. However, they saw Jesus living among them, coming lower than the angels. Could they believe in Jesus? Could they believe that he is God? Verse 7 says, You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor and put everything under his feet. In putting everything under him, God left nothing that is not subject to him. Yet, at present, we do not see everything subject to him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor. Although Jesus is God, who created the heavens and the earth, whom did he make himself lower than? It said he came to this earth in the flesh and lived a life that was lower than the angels. So people tried to stone, slander, spit, punch, and slap him. It was all because of our sins. It's not that God does not use his powers because he doesn't have any, but to save us from our sins. He took the path of pain and suffering to the point of death that we should have experienced. 